Hey guys, this is Matt Montgomery, and I know a lot of people actually, uh, they're like, how do you install Sigwin? So everyone's been asking me that. Uh, they've been asking me if they have installed it correctly. So I'm going to show them how to install it. So first off, you go to uh, the website, sigwin.com backslash setup.exe. Once you go there, it'll give you a, where you're able to just run the file, save it, whatever. So I'm just going to run it for now. I'm going to install from the internet. And I'm going to say that's where it's going to be. Uh, where the packages are supposed to be delivered, I'm going to do direct connection. Right now, it's going to start checking it out. It's going to start connecting to uh, Sigwin. And it's going to see all the packages. It can take a while, so. Just bear in mind that it can take a while. So now that I have everything, I'm going to do the FTP Sigwin mirrors because uh, it's a file transfer protocol instead of the hypertext transfer protocol. And what this would do is that it's just going to download the setup. All right. So what you don't want. All right. So instead of clicking next automatically, you want to actually install everything all. So all and just click install. It'll be default. Just click on it. Then after that, simple and easy. Uh, it's already going to start downloading everything, and I will show you what it's like after you get everything installed. Uh, what it, the bin and everything else should look like. All right. So after like a bazillion hours of downloading Sigwin, I really recommend if you're teacher gives you an RAR file or a .zip file of the CD, please use it. Oh my god. It took forever. It's not even just leaving it on all night. Like I seriously thought FTP would be faster. HTTP didn't do much of a speed boost either. It was almost just as slow as FTP. It was horribly, horribly horribly slow at downloading all the packets it took forever oh my god but here it is the actual installed everything so as you can tell we got our sigwin folder right click properties there you go how much data it had to uh, download and install if you don't get around this many gigs then you have screwed up somehow or you got impatient because man I just I was like screw this it, hit, it said like it'll be done in a couple days even though our internet's like we download at one point something megabytes a second um, it shouldn't take that long but Sigwin transfer files are crazy slow um, the servers are really slow I guess but if your teacher gives you an .iso file or something please use it. it saves yourself a lot of time alright so it's installed it works great you can check out my other video on how to set it up through the command prompt I will actually be doing a video on how to set up Visual Studio 2010 through the command prompt uh, later on this week I will be doing that and actually I'm learning how to do some C sharp for uh, my girlfriend's boss he wants to learn it so I'm semi learning it right now alrighty but that is it Sigwin is fully installed make sure you collect all of it not custom alright well that's the end of this video this freakishly long video